the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. Hey, we had a great study today. I think it's every time we get to have a forum and, and get into the Word of God, I do believe it's great. I believe in the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I think the fact is, it's all about uh, being open and, 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 and frank in discussions about the scriptures and, and learning and analyzing those scriptures line upon line and precept upon precept. Yeah, we can't cover everything in one session, and we're not meant to do that. We need to highlight an area and i guarantee you that every area any other areas in the scriptures especially in the teaching of christ is to to make sure to remind ourselves that we line up with the scriptures and the teaching of christ christ said in john 14 6 i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him and because of that that's why it's more important for us to to not only point the way but to also go the way and recognizing that eternal life is following Christ uh, for those who want to receive Christ. Yes, those of you who don't want to believe in Christ or don't want to receive salvation from our perspective, that's your choice and we respect that choice. I want you to always know that. You have a right. You should. God gave you the right to choose. For believers, you made a choice that Christ is Lord, so let Christ be Lord in your life. And meaning Lord mean is instead of doing it your way, uh, you doing it his way. And so we want to be able to talk about the different uh, atrocities and, 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 and what's going on during the day, you know, modern time, and address it and say, how do things line up with the word of God? And that's what we want to talk about today. And one of the things is I'll show you, this is the title that I'm using uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, cover. <laughs> uh, I just used the, one of my cover from last week to, to put up there to, to start this session off. Then I just take one of my uh, pictures for the day to uh, cover the scriptures. But the title, is talking about what fellowship has Christ with Belial. Belial. Belial is what represents the evil one, the devil, and so forth. What fellowship has it? Or love with hate. What fellowship, what compatibleness, compatibility does love have with hate? Or Christ have with the devil? None. And that's what we're trying to tell you. So we're trying to address in asking these questions is why would you use hate, discrimination, uh, murder, adultery, and all those things to and say that it's okay because it lines up with God. It has no compatibility. I hope that you start talking to the people in the medical profession and sit there and those people that are sitting there doing things that cause uh, people from different ethnic groups to die in, in, in procedures or in birth, uh, that ain't right. So talk to them. Let them know your eternal life is on the line while you're sitting there doing something that you think lines up with God's will, but murder does not line up with God's will. Not doing the best that you can just, and, and, and or doing the less that you can is not lining up with God's will. But the whole point I just want to sit there and say is that we're not supposed to uh, do things that's not compatible with the teaching of Christ. And, and that's what I think we need to ensure people do that, is to do the thing that's compatible with the teaching and encourage other people to do what's compatible with the teaching. And, and not to hurt people or put people down, but to love one another, amen? All right, so I think you're gonna enjoy this session. I guarantee you will. And I even used some AI. <laughs> My son gave me something dealing with AI, and I used that to put some scriptures down, and it gave some interesting comments 
or synopsis of those scriptures that I want to share with you. And I think we can continue to use those to, to get that non-biased to at least less least bias bias uh, perspective of the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in here. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give comments when you can and understand that Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus in the English translation or transliterations. So uh, I hope you enjoy the study and, and I hope you come back again and we'll continue to just put the word out from my understanding and from what the scriptures say. The key to it is the whole purpose of using the slides is to show what the scriptures say. And I'll ask you to do is follow the scriptures. That's what you need to do. And that's what I believe is right. Amen. All right. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's go ahead into our discussion that we had this Sunday. I'll check you when I see you later. Amen. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. God bless you. Hope you have a, had a great weekend. And I hope you have a great uh, Sunday and, 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 and a great week. Amen. That, that's that's what we want to do. Because, you know, we got challenges throughout every day of the week. And what we want to do, be able to uh, be successful, victorious, to the best of our ability. Making it day by day, week by week, month by month, and year by year. So we'll, we'll continue to work with that. You know, uh, what I had today uh, for this particular uh, Sunday is a discussion about the uh, the teaching or the fellowshipping with uh, love versus hate, uh, whether they're cap compatible or not in the teaching of Christ. And the reason I want to say the teaching of Christ is that we have the Old Testament and we have the commandments in the Old Testament, but we also have a lot of the things that was the, the you know, really the, the biblical, his, biblical history uh, of relationship between God and man, uh, all up to the teaching of Christ. And if we, what I want to make sure I'm saying, because we're talking about Old Testament saints versus New Testament saints, is the fact is that if you call yourself a Christian, uh, if you profess uh, Yeshua, that's his Hebrew name, uh, as Lord and Savior, as your Lord and Savior, uh, then, then you follow, that means you follow the teaching of Christ, right? Uh, and then that's, that's what we need to make sure you understand. We, based on my understanding of reading the New Testament uh, and the, the guidance, because the Testament is basically what one of my cousins said is, is the teaching, guidance of Christ. Good morning, sir. God bless you. All right, I I was uh, just getting ready to get into introduction. I was, I, I, and so I'll just bring you into it. Is and I'm telling people is that what discussion today, and you'll like it. Um, I, I did start putting on the title introduction. The title is Frank Discussions, which we do. <laughs> Frank discussion of the scriptures. Uh, just trying to call it how we see it, and and try to get people to understand that, and I was talking a few minutes ago, was the teaching of Yeshua. Uh, the, the whole purpose is that if you call yourself a Christian, then that means Christ-like, uh, anointed like him. And basically following his teaching, his doctrine. Uh, he said in John 14, 6, everyone that Jesus, Yeshua said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. That, that's a critical statement that is given people, uh, everybody, because 
you, you have to go by his way. You, you're not going by your political party's way. You're not going by your mama's way, your daddy's way, your friend's way, your way. Uh, it's his way. And, and, and therefore, when we teach our children, when we teach our congregation, when we teach our family, when we teach those who we come in contact with, we, we have to stay faithful to the teaching of Christ. I understand we have different denominations and all that because denominations come because of different types of leaderships that people have and different types of methods, like we got Methodist teaching and so forth. But despite those ministry titles, whether you're Catholic or whatever, the, the ultimate goal is to teach Christ, follow Christ. And if a ministry veers off of that, then they really need to, they do need to call themselves something other than a Christian. Uh, matter of fact, the early church first started off calling them the way, you know, which was a good, really, that's not a bad title uh, because it's saying the way, what way? The way of Christ. And, and you know what I mean? That, that makes sense, doesn't it? The way. Because the, God, and, I, I, and I respect Christianity, the title, but it means Christ-like. And if you're not going to be Christ-like, and instead of, and if you're not going the way, <laughs> then you really do need to consider whether you're a Christian or not. Or you definitely can sit there and say, whether you're going the way. You know, that's, I maybe, maybe look at that. But that's how they used to look at it at the beginning, the way. So, and all we want to do is have a frank discussion about the way. Uh, so, we're gonna, that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to show you the title. Let's see how I got up here. And then I'm going to go back to a question I like to start posing. Uh, as often as I can, because this title is really reflective of the way. <laughs> uh, but let me go with the title first. And I got the, then I'm gonna go back and ask these questions here. there. Computer was slow on me. It said, what fellowship has Christ with Belial or love with hate? The scripture I'm coming from is the one dealing with, you know, Belial. Uh, and and, and that, that's what I'm coming from. Because, because it, and I, and I guess what I actually put in uh, uh, for, for everybody, I actually put a, a AI, I can use one of these uh, software called the uh, chat something chat something but it is is where the ai i put a scripture in and let the with the computer summarize that what that scripture was saying and and i like i like how i was doing it but the whole point is we are talking about um, what fellowship what purpose if you christ-like if you trying to be christ-like why would you fellowship with hate or teach hate when the teaching of Christ is about love. Uh, and then that's, that's, that's so critical for people who teach and raise their children. And, and then our society, when we talk about from all types of, uh, uh, I call it racism, uh, but there's types, all types of isms that, that people try to impose on other people and, and I'm trying to figure out where that comes from and how does that apply to those who profess they want to be Christ-like. So the question I have here is, is this is started, this is what I want to try to use every once in a while because this is what I try to struggle with a lot uh, dealing with our society that profess to be uh, Christians. And I, and I understand about the hate groups that say they're not Christians or people who say they're not Christians, I understand. But we're talking about Christians. 
you know, this is form, this is who we profess to be. So therefore we need to make sure how do we reconcile those bad things. Okay, so Genesis, we said that we read it one Genesis one, just for everybody is the fact is that uh, God said, let us make man as our own image. What a critical in that statement I'm saying is, I do not see a lesser man, uh, a sub man, a colored man, meaning white or black or brown or anything else. All I see is God said, let us make man in his own image. And whether, it's, it's not even whether, the scripture said this is written, let us make man in our own image. So we're all made in the image of God. Now, what, what we want to say to those who are bigots and anything else is you are not God. <laughs> what you say is not written. And therefore, we're not going to give the authority uh, that you want to apply because it's, it's, it's a, a base is irrelevant, is not eternal, uh, has no life to it. As a matter of fact, it also actually represents death. So what we're going to say is that we're all made in the image of God. And whether people are like that or not, it says in the scripture from the beginning, we are made in the image of God. And we're talking about the teaching of Christ, not the teaching of the Old Testament saints. We're going to refer back to the Old Testament for examples. We're going to refer back to all the type of things, and the fighting, the war, and everything else that goes with it. We're going to talk about the teaching of Christ. That's you see what I'm saying? That's the foundation we're going to work with for people to go with. It says in verse 27, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. That tells you about the both genders that God created in his own image. The question I have is, where is it written in the teaching of Christ that God said a black man, white man, brown man, and any other man is superior or less than another man. Where is it written you can violate, this, this is a real piece here, brother. Where is it written that you can violate, meaning go against the 10 commandments or Christ's new commandment to love one another? Because of your decision to say that one group is less than the other, you you, you right where I'm coming from. The where did you get that people from? And that's where we as believers need to understand because it's not just color, skin color. People people have issues against people because where they came from, right? Some people get issue with people because of their family name. And, 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 and therefore they feel that they're justified to do bad things to those people. Uh, and and I, I, don't, I don't get it. It's not I don't get it. I'm trying to tell you it's not in line with teaching of God, period. Uh, I put it again and said, where is it written in, in, in teaching of Christ? And that's critical. Uh, for everybody, we're talking about the teaching of Christ. See, because a lot of people try to find and pick things in the in, 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 in the scriptures to justify bad behavior. I'm sitting to tell you is what was Christ teaching? What was his doctrine? What did he call you to do? And if he called you to go preach the gospel, the good news, where did it come in that you can bypass good news teaching to teach things such as hate and discrimination and everything else. He said, uh, so I put that in here again, said, where is it written in the teaching of Christ that you can do the below? And I'm, I'm sure the scripture started with the Ten Commandments, and then I'm also talking about the works of the flesh. Uh, to someone that has a different skin color, different belief system, different geographic birth date or birth location, or just different from your group. So that that's the starting question that I like to bring up from time to time on on studies. So, uh, brother, as a here's the the uh, 
Ten Commandments. I'm only bringing in the, the, the last five dealing with the relationship with man, with man. Uh, uh, you can read those for us, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. This is uh, Exodus 20, 13. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh, but, but then who said you can erase all that? 15 says, Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet the, thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. And, and so the question we have then is, <laughs> during the slave trade, during the crusade, during the Spanish Inquisition, during the Jim Crow laws, during <laughs> up to this day and time, where did someone have any authority, justification to violate these guidance in the Old Testament? Uh, and one of the things is that 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 thou should not kill. We talk about thou should not commit a murder. That's what he was talking about. Uh, don't commit murder. Don't just kill somebody uh, for the sake of killing uh, without going through the legal process. Uh, or if you're in war, that's a different story in itself too. And, and even our system of government, we had to go by the Geneva. Con convention. Yeah, I put the quotes in there because some people sit there and still try to violate it. But we arrest you if we, we catch you doing it wrong. Uh, so we're, we're, we're and, and the reason I'm using that really, I'm talking about, once again, the same things I named before. <laughs> Jim Crow law, lynching, uh, slavery, uh, you know, the crusade, the Spanish Inquisition, and all the other types of atrocities that man committed. Do, do you see where, what, can you, maybe, it, it's not for you to, I know you don't have the authority to, to, to answer that in the sense of uh, saying it's okay, but is that the same question you have sometimes for yourself as far as people who? Yeah, yeah it, it comes up. Uh, not just people in general, but when, when comes to those who are profess professing to be Christ-like. Exactly. <laughs> right. uh, you know, it's it's it's, uh, it's obvious there's something amiss <laughs> um, when they're not demonstrating a fraction of what his examples were. Oh, come on. Or the 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 ministry that he walked out uh he he not only did he he do what was done according to the law mm -hmm. he went above and beyond because he actually dealt with gentiles in favorable ways yes because of their likeness to walking out the kingdom principles or, or speaking on kingdom principles. If you had that, he dealt with you in a favorable way. Right. You know, he, but he, he came to fulfill the law. And uh, the law did, there was not the Ten Commandments, but there was laws that had the, the children of God separate themselves. So that they wouldn't be infiltrated or take on traits of others, right? You know, uh, uh, pagans, and, and and start to adapt pagan uh, worshiping and such. Uh, but we know that they did. <laughs> you know, I know, right? And we know that that God did not appreciate that. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed the study, the session we just went through. I'm going to break those sessions down 
I have broken the broken those sessions down from A, B, C, D, whatever it takes to finish them out. And then I just uh, post those on a daily basis throughout the week. And I will share those as much as possible to everybody uh, on Facebook and uh, on YouTube. And, you know, I will send some out to text. I normally try to send ones on text on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And tell you Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, of the session that we have. So uh, I just hope you just captured the whole point here that we need to be able to actually focus on the Word of God and practice the Word of God and stop fellowship with people that teach things that's contrary to the Word of God. Now, I tell you not to go and minister and go preach the gospel. To, 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 the, to the world. But when you actually have people who profess to be Christians and then they try to teach things contrary to the scriptures, not contrary to your ministry, your denomination, uh, or whatever somebody else tells you, what you want to do as an individual is responsible for doing what the scriptures say. Be led by the Holy Spirit is all we want to be able to do to emphasize in this teaching. You know, so uh, there's no, the title uh, as we gave here, and I'll show it again just to close out with it, the title, and I'll update the title in itself, but it says, what fellowship has Christ with Belial, Belial represents the devil, or love with hate? What, what fellowship do those two have? They don't have any. Uh, and that's why you want to make sure that you don't demonstrate the things or the, 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 the tools and manners of the devil. You want to demonstrate the tools of Christ, the love of Christ, the teaching of Christ. You know, I, I put in a song in this and they say, yes, you know, you know that old song, the Christian song, children's song that says, you know, yes, Jesus loves me uh, because the Bible tells me so. And I put it in there and saying is that, that that's an incomplete song. And I know it's a children's song. And I just encourage the people to add some other things to the song, such as, yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus forgives you. Yes, I forgive you because the Bible tells me so. You see what I'm saying? That for us as believers, mature believers, is the fact is what does the Bible tell us so, right? And that's, that's what I want you to remember that. And then also this scripture here that uh, I mentioned in the introduction, what well, I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning now is uh, in the closing, excuse me, is James 3.11. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Verse 12, can a fig tree, my brother, bear olive berries, either a vine, fig, so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. So when you got hate, everything else coming out of you, you ask yourself, how's that? If you're supposed to preach the gospel, which is good news, if you're supposed to operate in love, which is the doctrine of the gospel, but you showing hate and you showing discontent, you need to check yourself. And you got to sit there and say, I'm following the will of God or following the will of man or myself. I said, follow Christ. Amen. I bless you. I hope you enjoy the study. And then I uh, hope you'll see the rest of these segments as we go along and talk. Amen. God bless you. And I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.